What's up, everybody? This is Chieftain, and I am here with the one and only Oni, as we like to call her, Freeze Frame, Freeze frame! and the Bearded Beauty himself, Hero. And you're watching Lagging Out. Joey, you ever hang around the gymnasium? Cue the cute, cutie, awesome 3D graphics. <laughs> Cue that wonderful bean, bean footage. Mr. Bombastic, really fantastic. Touch me on my box, she says I'm Mr. Roe. So after a long technical difficulty from Chieftain and Oni, we are finally almost live on yet another episode that 20 people will watch on our YouTube channel. Cheers to you, 20. We That's <laughs> What's right. That? Our diehard fans. Thank you to our diehard fans. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Cue anime graphic kicking me in the face. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> um, Weenie but anyways, and the butt. <laughs> Weenie and the butt. Anyways. We have a subject that I'm really excited about. And then another subject I'm really, really excited about. So... Whoever wants to t tackle the first subject, please raise your hand. Uh, okay, you. You go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get to the first subject. Uh, so I'm assuming that the first subject is going to be the Switch Pro. A um, little bit of background. Basically, nobody knows what it's going to be called. Nintendo hasn't even admitted it exists yet. But as it stands with... Um, all the Xbox and PlayStation and all that doing their multiple models of the same generation item. Um, in classic Sony fashion, Nintendo decided to go ahead and prepare release for an upgraded Nintendo Switch console. Uh, I saw this coming. The public. I totally saw this coming. The public. You know how I saw this coming? <laughs> you know how I saw this shit coming? How'd you see it coming? When they dropped the fucking price of the original Switch by $100, I'm like, oh, they're coming out with a new console or they're doing a special promotion. Check this crap out. They're dropping it 100 points. Right, Oni? Freeze frame! I mean, they do it all the time. Let, I'm going to preface this. Yeah. When the DS came out and then they made the DSi, when they made the 3DS, then they made the 3DS XL, mm -hmm. then they made the 2DS, and then or they did the... Uh, you know, anything like that, they always dropped the price. <laughs> you know, if you're so bored, you could right. just not invite me to the show. I'm just putting that out there. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking that la on the last video, they dropped so it, it and the Keith kept putting in those inserts of Deadpool wanting to shoot himself. Damn it, Wade! <laughs> <laughs> No, no, but she makes a good point, though. Like, she, you have all those um, escalations of the Nintendo consoles, right? And every exactly. console does it. Not Well, I should right. say every game company uh, does it. But Nintendo does it a lot more, don't they, Oni? Do you think? Hey. I, I don't necessarily... Hmm. Yes and no. I think and that's a valid that's point because Nintendo has, like, 7,000 handheld consoles. Right. <laughs> Here's the thing, That's amazing how you threw your voice there, Oni. They do. Oh, that was Hero. My bad. Bitch, <laughs> <laughs> bitch, You know, thanks for joining us on Lagging Out Podcast. You know, I'll let you know where to Go hide ahead, the bodies and find Jimmy Hoffa. Uh, oh. So, I, I say yes because they do have a lot of handheld console models, but most of them are just reskins special editions to showcase licensed products that they already have uh, such as like Stop. the x and y 3ds xl or the pikachu 3ds xl or the uh animal crossing new horizons nintendo switch things like that the special edition zelda so, so what you're telling, exactly. basically, but, Nintendo yes. is a t the, the Toyota Corolla of game consoles. It's just yes, like, it's but, the same I mean, one every year with, oh, this one's got a new cup holder. Nice fucking model! But they already, but they already own those products, so, you know, people are going to fucking right. buy it. But, at the same time, they don't have that many models because in the big scheme of things, the ones that are still updated and active, you've got, 
I don't even know if the Wii U is still updated, but it's it's out there, I guess. My the bar is so low on consoles because the Xbox <laughs> 360 would always crash. But the things about Nintendo is that their consoles hardly ever break down. What are you going to say, Hero? Oh, well, I was going to say, the, the to be fair, the 3DS has a slider to where you could turn off the 3D, uh, the 3D yes. glasses effect. That but, shit made me sick, too, so I always turn that off. <laughs> but for me, oh. why would you spend okay. the money of the whole thing if you're not going to use it ever? Why not just buy the console minus yeah. that part? There's a reason that the only ones in the handheld market anymore are the existing Vitas, which just lost all their servers, and mm -hmm. Nintendo. <laughs> Now yeah, back onto exactly. the uh, onto the onto the point though um, the rumors of what we're looking at f <laughs> the rumors that we're looking at for the uh, Switch Pro are uh, OLED displays, 4K graphics, and we're looking for a mid to late 2021 release. Speaking of game development, Segway. Segway Sam is here to change the subject, baby. <laughs> Cue the on the graphic. Wicka, wicka. Uh oh. I get to work, I get to talk about cool video game development stuff because that's my wheelhouse. Yay! So, this is a, li this is a little bit dated, but I think it's still pretty fucking awesome. Uh, everyone's heard of Unreal. So everyone's heard of Unreal Tournaments. It's a game engine, it's free, it's downloadable. But they have this new add-on to it, which is gets me really excited, and I'm so glad that the crew, quote unquote, approved it to talk about. And it is called MetaHumans for Unreal. So basically, as a 3D artist and a 3D modeler, you had to model a lot of characters, and that would take close to like I don't know 200 hours to make a a pretty accurate type of humanoid and or 3D character. <laughs> But this actually kind of streamlines it a little bit. So for game developers that are on the cheap or indie gamers, which both of you guys love indie gamers. So th this is something that you will, indie developers rather. So, so this is something that you guys should be really excited about because the turnaround on games would be a lot faster. So what is MetaHumans? This is the expansion I'm talking about. And there's a free version and of course a version that you can pay for. MetaHumans can be set up in your own projects, and this is straight from the Unreal Engine. Uh, Real-time motion capture on these characters um, for mocap, so you can actually act it out, and it'll just go into the software and act the character out. Um, and it could be driven; they could be driven through a live link, so someone from another country could be acting it out and have the character inside of Unreal or un inside the development engine. So effectively, what I'm understanding is that you're going to base Is it going to be something like a mocap suit, what they do uh, in TV production? It's much more it... powerful than that. It's much more powerful than that. So then is it just are they just going to capture the 3D model of, say, my head on camera? And then what they can do, do is they can actually create they can create the metahumans. They're pre-rigged. It's like you already have it there. The fingers, the eyes, the faces are pre-rigged, but that's not the best of it. The best of it is you can manipulate it. You can age the character, wrinkles, change the race, age, height, and manipulate the entire character just from sliders. I want to make the eyes further apart. I want to add more wrinkles to the skin. I want to change the pigmentation. So from soup to nuts, you're creating an entire character in about a quarter of the time hero. So yes, you can motion capture. Yes, it's pre-rigged. And yes, you can use sliders and build a character in literally hours. It's fucking amazing. And whatever price they're charging, it's worth it. It's gonna I think it's gonna help the indie community, not so much the big the big box game developers like Activision, that so to speak, so to speak, but like the indie gamers that are like really wanna create quality, quality characters in about a quarter of the time. This is a really a really great thing. So to answer your question, yes, yes, and yes. Absolutely. So, so before awesome. I get to my next question, I'm gonna ask you. Uh, I'm gonna ask you this: Do you think that this is going to put like the real grit and teeth to indie developers to the point to rock the market? Do you think this is going to really drive competition against the AAA titles? First of all, let me go put my game developer hat on. Hat on. Let me be right back. Hold on. Okay. 
Got to right. take All off right. the right. it's, not, it's on. Um, I think I think it'll give them a run for their money. I don't think it's gonna like completely take over, so to speak. But <laughs> I think I think it'll make the quality of games better, and that benefits the indie community that really loves those games. What do you guys think about the new Switch coming out and Unreal Metahumans? Don't forget to comment below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe below as well. And we also have memberships starting at $1.99. So if you want us to continue doing these high quality videos, I put in parentheses high quality, make sure you do that right there. And also if you want to buy Blacklight Oni, a cool mic, we have a wish list in the link below. So I, I, I put one in there just for her. She doesn't like to get handouts, but I just did it just to make her uncomfortable. And don't forget to bang that bell in the top left-hand corner of the screen or the page that you're viewing this at. So on behalf of the bearded beauty hero and the badass we know is Blacklight Oni, this is Chieftain signing off and lagging out.